Hi Islanders, it's Feather Song, and we just got an update a few days ago. Sorry I'm a little bit late on it, but you know, life. Anyways, I am here on one of my alts, and um, I just wanted to start out by showing you the new um, owner and builder designations that float over our heads. Um, my alt owns this island, so she has a little crown. And my regular me <laughs> is um, a builder on the island, so I get this green block with the um, the green pickaxe. Anyways, um, so that's one thing I wanted to show you about with the update. Let me get rid of some of this stuff here on my <coughs> toolbar. Um, so let's go into my castle here and um talk about this update uh as you probably know it was a disco themed update um so i need to i've only um built the floors so far and i've played with the other played with them but i haven't built any of the other things yet so if you go on the furniture workbench and scroll all the way to the bottom the new stuff is always on the bottom by the way um, as soon as it loads up here, come on, there we go, all right, here's some of the stuff, there's the lounge chairs and some tables, come on everything, load up, guitars, it's the first stuff up here, okay, so let's start with the white lounge chair. I don't know why the regular chair <laughs> picture is coming up. There we go. Um, that takes five white wool and a white flower. So um, let's make a couple of those. And then there is a red one that takes five red wool and ten iron. So we'll make a couple of those. Apparently this server is a little laggy. <laughs> Um, then a blue one is five blue wool and ten iron. Make a couple of those. And the pink one, five pink wool and ten iron. And we'll make a couple of those. Then there is a short tabletop. It takes iron ingots, um, marble, and one black glass block. So let's make a few of those. Um, and then there's these taller tables, uh, round white tabletop. Ignore the picture, it hasn't loaded in yet. Um, takes 10 iron, there we go, two marble and two glass blocks. So we'll make uh, a couple of those. And then the red one is 10 iron two marble and two red glass blocks. Um, next is the blue one, which is 10 iron, two marble, and two blue glass blocks. And the pink one, same thing, but with two pink glass blocks. And then to go with those tables are these um, tabletop chairs. Um, I think they call that tabletop just to so you know that they go with the tabletop. Um, but anyways, so um, let's make like four of those so I can put them all around a table and see what how it looks. Um, make four of those also. And the blue one. Again, these all take iron and um, the appropriately colored uh, wool and pink and then there are four different guitars there's the green one all of them take electrite and ancient slime string um, I think they all take iron and oak too yeah they all take the same thing I don't know why they don't take something colored but um, anyway, so that's the green one, the red one, the blue one, a pink one, and then there is a speaker 
pipe system that takes electrite and iron ingots. Um, I'll build a few of those, I guess. And besides that, if you go to the electrical workbench, oops, uh, there are disco balls. Um, make a couple, I guess, of each. Um, the red one takes two rubies, twin, or actually, that's for two of them. For one of them, it's one ruby, ten electrate. Um, and for the gold one, it takes gold and electrate. And then the diamond one takes diamond and electrate. Um, and then there are four different uh, disco floor tiles, which I've already built some, but um, I can build a couple more, I guess. So, they take electrite, glass panes, and then um, neon blocks. This one takes red and pink, uh, two of them, to make one. And then this one is neon light green and neon blue. And this one is neon yellow and neon purple. And then the last one here is neon white and neon cyan. All right, now that we have crafted everything, um, let's run up to the top of the castle and take a look at it all. It's going to go up to the top. Here we are. Um, let's go over here. And let's start by, let's see, we'll look at the um, disco balls and the guitars and um, where's that speaker system at? There it is. All right, so let's start with this stuff. Um, there's the diamond disco ball, gold disco ball, and the ruby disco ball. So those are all pretty cool looking. Um, they all glow and uh, have little twinkles on them. Um, it would have been a lot nicer if they um, spun so that they could leave the little, you know how disco balls spin and they leave the little dots spinning on the ceiling. Um, that would have been really cool, but they are pretty anyways. Um, and then, let's see, um, the speakers. Let's put them over here. So, that looks pretty cool. Um, they don't stack on top of each other, though. And also, they unfortunately don't do anything. Um... It would have been cool if they played some kind of music or, um, I guess maybe you could put like a, a jukebox behind the wall and, and play the jukebox and make it seem like the, um, the speakers are playing or something like that. Um, and the guitars, we'll stick them up over here. There's red, there's pink, there's green, and there's blue. So, those are pretty nice looking as well. Um, again, would have been cooler if we could like actually maybe make them play, um, but I guess they're just uh, a decoration. Um, let's see, what else can we look at? Um, we can look at the dance floor. And these lounge chairs. Uh, let's start with the dance floor though. We'll just put them right near this stuff here. There's the cyan and white, the purple and yellow, the green and blue, and the pink and red. Um, I like them. They're pretty. It would have been 
even nicer if they had the uh, if the tiles had flashing lights on them like a an actual disco floor did but um they're still pretty they're nice and we'll set up some of the lounge chairs Let's see how close we can put these they're like at an angle which is kind of weird um let's see if i can no they're just they're just going to place at an angle that's just how they are red and there's the pink and there's the blue so there's those they're really nice looking they look um like they have the the padded uh quilt um on the back and um the plush um or not really plush but the cushiony cushions <laughs> um of course they're they're still not really you know proportioned to how we sit but you know uh and it would have been extra cool if they had made couches to go with them but actually i want to try something else i want to see <clears throat> how it looks if i put a group of them together like you would find at a disco come on So that's how four would look grouped together. And then we have, <coughs> excuse me, the, um, there's tables that go with them on here somewhere. These black tables go with them, the short tables. Uh, and then we've got the blue tables and blue chairs. I think, yes, it clicked on the wrong thing. Let's do it this way, actually. Um, all right, white table, white chair. Red table, red chair. Pink table, pink chair. Blue table, I can't fit the blue chair in there yet. All right, because I need to put this here first let's get out of the way see if it'll fit here yes all right so that's um i guess how it's gonna look if you uh set something up like this that's how it looks pretty cool um then we have the other tables and chairs uh there's the white one. We'll put chairs next to it. Um, the red one, we'll just put down one chair just so we can see how they look together, the tables and chairs. Pink table and chair. And the blue table, I need to get out the chair. There's one of these somewhere. Somewhere, somewhere, somewhere. There we go. Right there. And a chair. Alright, so if we look at these close up. Oops. Um, blue table and chair look really nice together, and the table has a pretty neat pattern on it. I'm sitting on the chair backwards. <laughs> Let's uh, switch around here. 
well, okay. I guess I have to actually reset. Reset. There we go. I'm still on it backwards. Why am I not facing the table? That is so weird. How about this one? Okay, so the, apparently the chairs only go one way. Which is incredibly weird, because at this one I'm sitting sideways. <clears throat> Let's try these white ones out. So, on this one, I'm sitting at the table. Pretty cool. At this one, I am sitting sideways. <clears throat> and this one, I am sitting forward, and this one, I am sitting sideways. So apparently, um, when you set the seats, I guess maybe you need to, like, be standing on the table. Uh, let's see if that works. If you're standing on the table and you put the chairs around it. Oops. I don't know why I'm bothering to fix this. It's not like it matters. <laughs> I'm just one of those OCD type people that, um, you know, wants the uh, chair to be in the right spot. All right, and then turn to this side, place a chair, and then turn to this side, place a chair. Let's see where I end up. So, yes, we are facing the table over here. Yes, facing the table. Yes, facing the table. And, no, that must be maybe the original one that was already down. Let's redo it here. So, anyways, um, apparently you need to, yay, you need to be, like, on the table and turning, um, yourself around each time in order to be facing the table. So, um, good to know. Uh, but anyways, let's, um, disco balls look awesome at night. Uh, but I want to see what these tables look like during the day, so we'll change the cycle here. There we go. Because depending on the angle, the table kind of, the table's kind of, especially the red one, kind of, um, changes colors and some directions, some angles, uh, show up the, um, design that's on them better. It kind of looks like it's a three-dimensional design. Pretty neat. Okay, so anyways, <laughs> um, let's go downstairs and I will show you some of the things, um, that I played with as far as the, uh, floor tiles go. Um, in this room, I was kind of playing around um, with patterns, doing them all with the same color tiles. Um, stop that. So, I have the checker pattern, and then I have the, like, bars pattern in here. In the next room... I have, oh, I was trying to make squares, since each of these tiles has four small squares on it. Um, you should think that you'd be able to rotate the tiles so that you could make larger green squares and blue squares. And I found you can make um, green squares, but for some really weird reason, you can't do an actual blue square. I tried many times. So that's um, something kind of weird. Then in here, 
I am showing um, what the tiles look like compared to their neon, um, you know, counterparts. And uh, the colors are a little bit different. Like this blue is more of a, a darker blue than the neon. And um, some of the neon blocks are brighter than the, the ones on the tiles, but um, it's good that the ones on the tiles aren't as bright because then you're, you wouldn't really be able to look at your floor if you had a whole bunch of tiles down. <laughs> uh, and the purple one, the color on the tile is much better purple than the um, purple neon, which is kind of blue. It's really kind of close to the blue neon. I never really understood why, but yeah. Um, and then we have the cyan and white, which cyan and white are both really bright um, neon blocks. Um, so it's good that those are toned down on the floor tiles. And I have um, a couple more experimentations with um, floor patterns. Oh, um, this I just uh, stacked four of them up just because I could um, and discovered you can climb on them. So if you wanted to have uh, disco floors at different levels, um, you could use the tiles for stairs as well. Um, and this one is showing that uh, furniture will not go directly on the tiles. Um, it hovers above it, so um, apparently these floor tiles take actual 3D uh, space and not flat space. And here I am playing with some more designs, um, putting them together. This was making like bar designs on half of the colors. Um, <clears throat> oh, another thing to point out, if you look in the corner, the tiles, they don't go all the way uh, against the wall or into a corner. So if you were going to have, um, uh, if you wanted to put these on a floor, you would have to have some other kind of block um, underneath that, you know, would like coordinate and match the uh, the floor tiles you're using or maybe black like um, obsidian or something might look good and go with all of them especially since they have like um, well if we go in the other room you'll see the the bottom side of them is black as you can see um, and then in the next room, I was working kind of with um, color patterns, matching, you know, different tiles together. And um, these, I think, are my two favorite color patterns is the cyan and white with the red and pink and the um, purple and yellow with the red and pink. Um, <clears throat> I am not really a big fan of green. That's just my, my personal preference. So this is like my least favorite. The green and blue tile is my least favorite just because I'm not a big fan of green. Um, but you know, that's just personal preference. So, um, yeah, that is all about the, uh, the new disco update. And that light is making my skin look very glary. That light, I mean, light is making my white skin look glary. Um, so, um, now I want to show you some of the other stuff um, that has to do with the update, such as um, they changed how the timers look um, when you're fighting the, um, the bosses. And um, I also want to show you, if you don't know, if you've never gotten Electrite before, I'll show you where and how to get that. And um, might as well show you where Marble is too, because it's right nearby. Okay, so now I am on Buffalcore Island, and I am going to show you how 
to get electrite and marble. Um, so, coming from the portal, um, you look in this direction, there is um, this slate mine here, where this uh, crane thing is. Um, run past that. Um, just keep going this way and you will um, run there's two holes down here um, one of them is to go down um, and mine there's just regular um, copper and gold and iron mining down that way but if you turn this way to the right and hop down you will find the electrite and the electrite um, is awesome to mine because uh, you just run around in a circle and by the time you've completed the circle all the way around um, new electrite uh, nodes have popped up so just run around and run around, chop, 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 run around, and as you can see, the um, new nodes are already coming back up, so um, just keep running around and you'll get all your electrite, and uh, that's all there is to that. Okay, so when you're done running around and mining your electrite, if you want to go get some marble um, from the electrite mine, just go up this rope here. And then run straight to this tunnel here, which will take you up to the surface. And once at the surface, just look straight ahead and you'll see this white rock. Um, that is marble and uh, you just need to jump down in that hole and mine marble. Okay, so um, if you want to know how to get from the marble to the portal that goes to Buffalo Core, um, just run towards the, uh, the crane that's next to the marble and um, you will see these mushrooms right here. Those mushrooms lead to the Wizard Island portal. If you want to go to the Buffalo Corp portal, which you can't even <laughs> see because it's too far to render, um, just instead of running up the hill, just keep running towards this way and you'll see another crane. So run past that crane as well. I'm going to run under it. Um, and then you'll see this next crane. This is the first crane that we went by when we went by the um, slate. As you can see, that's the... Um, that's the slate, and the slate mine is below there. Um, and just past the slate is the portal back to Buffalo Core. So, um, in reverse, <laughs> if you just came from, I mean, not back to Buffalo Core, back to Slime, duh. Um, anyways, um, if you are coming from the gate and instead of wanting to get, um, electrite you want to get marble instead then uh at the slate mine um just go uh, around this crane and um around the next crane and just keep this is also how you get from the um the portal to get to the wizard island portal the quickest way um if you're going to go to the wizard island portal you would run up this hill and um, keep running over there but if you're not going to Wizard Island I mean 
yeah, Wizard Island, um, you would not go up the little hill but keep going this way towards the crane over here with the white rock next to it and that is where the marble mine is. And um, so there you go. That is how you find um, both the electrite mines and the marble mine. Okay, so another part of the update is that they changed um, the timer for the bosses um, is how they're displayed. <clears throat> so um, I'm at the wizard boss, obviously, and I have not summoned him yet. So it says free summon. So if I summon him <coughs> and uh, give him a kill here. Okay, now that there's no people here to summon him, um, I can finally show you what it shows after you've used your free cooldown. Um, it tells you how long until you get your next free cooldown, and it tells you how many um, tokens you need to summon him and how many you have, and I have zero, so um, if I wanted to summon him again, I would have to wait the 30 th 39 minutes until I could do that. But um, I like how they've changed it. Um, it seems to be a lot more informative and um, uh, yeah, I like it. And I guess we're gonna go fight him again. And you'll see that um, I stood in one spot and hardly lost any health at all while I was fighting him. So um, just as a, a tip for killing the wizard boss, he's really easy to kill. Um, so yeah, that. And so that is my disco update video. Um, hopefully you found it helpful and um, enjoyed it. If so, please give it a like and also subscribe if you haven't. Bye!